One of the things that differentiate American Mahjong from other versions is its use of jokers, eight jokers in all. There's one category on the card that requires them, the quint category. All the other categories on the card can be played without jokers. In this exercise, I'm going to show you that you can find success without jokers. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. This exercise is done using the Mock American Mahjong card. Look for a link below the video so that you can download it and follow along. I'm going to do some Charleston modeling without jokers. I've removed them completely from the set. So there will be no jokers throughout the exercises. My goal is to make decisions and end with four discards or less. Whether or not I have jokers, that's my goal. Let's roll these dice to determine which seat we're in. For the first exercise, I rolled an 11, eight, nine, 10, 11. So let's just say we are going to be player three, West, non-dealer. I'm gonna get 13 tiles, and then I'll create a mock Charleston. So here we have single winds and dragons, three dots, four bams, and a pair of nine cracks. For American Mahjong, one of the best strategies is to build around multiples. So I think we should use this as the strength of our hand. We're going to gather as many of these as we can to support the nines. One of the patterns I'm seeing here are seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, something consecutive. Also, currently, the year is 2019. We might be able to play a year hand. There are dragons in the year category, and there's even news in the category. So all these tiles could be used. Even the three could be used because we have 369 as a category. But I think the consecutive run or the year would be much better. So we're gonna give up the three. So with the nine as the strength of the hand, let's see what we have for options under the year category. Two require flowers of which we have none. The other two use winds, north and south or east and west with dragons. So let's go ahead and give up these sevens, six, seven, and focus on year tiles. 683. Let's pass these three. We're going to focus on the year, probably either the second hand down or the third hand down. And we might even be able to play something in the Wind and Dragon category later. So here we picked up an East and we have tiles to pass. So we still don't have to pick a hand. We're just going to gather Winds, Dragons, Year tiles. There's Year tiles. We have two tiles to pass. So with the year, we need to make a choice now. We have no flowers, so that should come into play here. That's a gap. Anytime you have a gap, it should take lower priority. I think we could play either east and west or north and south. Here's an east and a west. We are missing the green, however. Now we could do, let's see, I think east and west we can keep. Let's pass the south and focus on either east and west with green and the year, or we could maybe even play like numbers with nines. No dragon though. Let's pass these three and see what happens. There's a green dragon, east and west with greens. And we have tiles we can pass. I don't think we can use that red dragon. Year tiles is what we're looking for, or like numbers with nines. We got a three, five, seven. That's a pretty risky pass. 
we really don't need a pair. What about a five, seven, nine? Five, seven, nine. We could do 2019 East West Dragon. Let's give up on one of the suits here and see if we can maybe do something with 579. There's a pair of sevens. This is why you don't want to pass pairs. There, 579. So let's switch now to odds. 579, one suit. Big odds. 579 with news concealed. Let's go ahead and pass these three. News 579. We really don't need all the sevens. Let's pass these. We got a south and we have tiles we can pass. No keepers. Four discards for news. Actually, we have five because we have news five, seven, nine. That would be the last hand under, under odds. The last hand under odds. News five, seven, nine. I think I would still keep the seven though and just see what comes in because we could potentially play five, seven, nine, third hand down if we can get flowers. So I would start by discarding these. Okay, let's go to the next one. This time I rolled a nine. So we'll be player one. I'll get 14 tiles this time and create a mock Charleston. Okay, we have almost news. That could be considered a block of four. Even though they're individual tiles, we're one away from having news. I think we should focus on something with news. On the mock card, we have several news hands. Let's see if there's a pattern we can pick up on here. There is a like number hand and we do have all the eights. We have no flowers though, that's a weakness. I would probably try to play a hand with no flowers at this point. So four hands that use news with no flowers would be maybe a two, four, six, eight hand. We've got lots of two, four, six, eight. We really probably could give up on the dragon. Even though there's a news hand with dragons, we only have one. So let's go ahead and break it up and Play something with evens and news, maybe. But I think evens, even without news, is a great start. There's a pair hand we could even play. Actually, there's a pair hand with the dragon, although it uses flowers. Let's go ahead and keep the dragon. So evens with news, or like numbers with news. There's a north and an eight. Now we have two multi, oh, there's a four. So we have news with a pair, two, eight, four, eight, two, four, eight, and a red dragon. I think at this point we can give up this red dragon. If we played the news, there aren't any using multiples of the wins. So I think we could give up on that. So if we have news earmarked and then maybe eights or two, four, six, eight with news, two, four, six, eight with news, let's keep the four and the eight and give up the two because we could always fall back on like numbers with news. 
That particular hand, like Numbers with News, uses a pair of flowers, though, and we have none. That's a gap, so that should be plan B. I'm thinking probably the concealed hand under evens. Two, four, six, eight with news. There's an eight. We picked up a two. Two, eight, four, eight. Let's go ahead and give up on the dots. So we're in between bams and cracks. And we have gaps. We have no four crack or six crack. And then here we have no two bam or six bam. So hopefully we can fill in or we can go with news with eights if we can get our hands on a flower. That might even be better. There's a flower. So I think we can discard those. Let's focus on like numbers with eights and break those up because this has now no gaps because of this flower. And incidentally, this is why you don't want to pass flowers. They're used in every category on the card, so it's best not to pass them. So here we can pass one of each suit. We're focused on news with flower, uh, flowers and eights. We got an eight and we have tiles we can pass. Here we have potential joker bait, but if we get all keepers, we may be forced to either pass a pair or break up our hand. So I wanna break that up right now. We got a north, which we already have, so we can give that up. Let's spread out that two. That two crack went to a different player. Let's give it to somebody else. We got a pair of threes and a red dragon. Passing pairs is really risky. Let's pass these three. Optional cross. So we have discards, including a north. We have five discards, no gaps. We can Kong, we need an eight crack and a west, and then of course a flower. So I think that this was really successful. News with eights, second hand down under like numbers. We do have five discards, but no gaps. And we'll do this one more time. I rolled a seven, seven, eight, so player three, non-dealer. I'll get 13 tiles and create a mock Charleston. For these tiles, we have a couple of single wins, but here we have a pung of sevens and a pair of fours. If we had a five crack and a six bam, we could play four, five, six, seven using both multiples, but we have major gaps. I think what I would do is hold the fours and just see what happens and play something consecutive using six through nine. In consecutive run, there are many hands, both in mixed suits and, and one suit. So I would just keep them all. And we do have tiles we can pass. So let's go ahead and pass east with odds, two suits. So we don't even need to look at the card. We're just gonna gather consecutive run tiles. There's a five and an eight and we have tiles to pass. So we still don't have to pick a hand because we now have four through eight, four through nine really, but we have here four, five, seven. If we can get a six bam, we could play the second hand down under consecutive run. There is one hand that uses a dragon, fourth hand down, four, five, four, five, 
dragon, but we have no flower. I think seven, eight, eight, five, six, seven, eight. Use this later, maybe if the 6 p.m. comes in. Let's go ahead and give up the eight dot and see if we can maybe use the dragon. We got a five bam and a six bam. Look what came in. We can get rid of that eight crack. Four, five, six, seven. That would use all our multiples here. Four, five, six, seven. Or we could do even four, five, six, seven, eight if we get that eight dot back. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We also have that potential, the very first hand under consecutive run. We need a Kong of sevens. That would leverage that nicely. We did right across. Now we're on first left. I would not stop the Charleston here. I would whittle down my options or and pick a hand. I think we could probably give up on the six cracks since the eight dot is a gap. Four, five, six, and then seven, eight. That would be the second hand from the bottom under consecutive runs. Since it's a gap, let's give up on the six. So I think five through nine or four, five, six, seven would be good here. We got a two and a five, five crack, four, five, six, seven. I think that kind of solidifies it for me. We've got one, two, all of these are multiples except the six bam. So let's pass these three. North, south, two. Let's go ahead and break those up. Okay, we have a one. Let's pass one, eight, south. Four, five, six, seven. No keepers here. South two, seven, optional cross. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Look what we got back, eight, nine. I think what I would do here, oh, four, five, six, we got the eight back too. I would hold all these and see what happens and discard these two. Just leave options open. But I think if I had to pick a hand, I'd play four, five, six, seven. Hold those for options. Second hand down, pung, kong, pung, kong. We could pung here. We need a little help here and here, but there are no gaps. Five discards. Really two discards with options because if we get that six crack back, we could play four, five, six, seven, eight. That would be the second hand from the bottom under consecutive run. If we get the five bam back, we would have to throw away four, five, two pair. I wouldn't do that. I think what I would do here is pat, uh, give up those. That way we could leverage the multiples. Four, five, six, seven, eight, second from the bottom, or four, five, six, seven, second from the top and four discards to start with. American Mahjong has nuances unlike any other version because of the jokers and because of the Charleston too. You can really strengthen your hand through the Charleston if you make the right decisions at the right time and have a nice strong position going into the pick and discard phase of the game. When you do not have jokers, don't lament because you can make any hand work without them except of course a quint. 
If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.